Okay, so let's begin. We're going to first talk about powers of 2. And before we get to powers of 2, we're also going to talk about powers of 10. Okay? So, let's look at these side by side. Okay, so we're all familiar with base 10. This is what's known as uh, decimal. And we're also familiar with base 2, or at least we might be familiar. That's known as binary. Incidentally, binary, uh, bi means 2 in Latin, whereas deci means 10 in Latin. So, for example, the word um, decimate actually is the Latin word uh, f uh, which relates to uh, eliminating by one tenth uh, the number of forces in an army. So that's what decimate literally means. Likewise, binary, or I mean, there's other uses of the term bi, so um, <coughs> uh, like bipolar, uh, which is two poles, um, literally. Um, binary, I mean, it's just two values, etc. Okay. So let's take a look at the powers of two first. So here's what they are. We have one, we have two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, uh, we have two fifty-six, and we also have five twelve. We also have one thousand twenty-four. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, this, by the way, if we just keep track of this, this is 2 to the 0 is equal to, the, to 1. 2 to the 1 is equal to 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the 3rd is 8, etc. So just fill this out really quick. Um, what we should notice as we do this, by the way, is that um, uh, these values here, so we should take a look at those values as, as we fill this out. You notice know, so that these are all just uh, increasing linearly, so 2 to the 9 and 2 to the 10 is 1024. Um, we might as well talk about some more powers of 2, so let's just uh, keep going. So we have, let's see, not just 1024, but we also have 2048, uh, we also have 4096, uh, 8192, uh, 16,384, uh, 32,768, 65,536, and then 131,072. Okay, and beyond that, um, I'll just leave it up to you to, to figure that one out. Um, it's good to know powers of 2, and the reason why is because you need to know powers of 2 in order to do um, in order to convert between binary and decimal. So in order to do this conversion, right, the reason why we bother to learn the powers of two is to be able to convert between binary and decimal. Okay. So and let, by the way, let me just keep filling this out. So we have this is two to the eleven is equal to that, two to the twelve, two to the thirteen. 2 to the 14, 2 to the 15, 2 to the 16, and then finally 2 to the 17, which is the 2 to the 17, is equal to that. Okay, now there's obviously more uh, powers of 2 than just this, but there you go. And by the way, these are all, even though these are all powers of 2, I'm showing all these powers of 2 in decimal. All right now, powers of 10 are pretty straightforward. Uh, if I were to say 10 to the 0, that's just equal to 1. Um, Whereas if I have 10 to the um, 1, that's equal to 10, and 10 squared, well, that's just 100. And what you should notice, by the way, is, okay, well, shoot. Um, all I know here is uh, in decimal, whatever this number is here, so um, if I had, like, say, 10 to the 3rd, that's 1,000. What you should notice is that this number here corresponds to how many zeros there are after the 1. Right? That's what, how it is in decimal. Well, as it turns out, this is the exact same thing that you see in binary. So uh, if we take a look at this value over here, this uh, 
the exponent here. So I'm just using the easier exponent. Exponent. Right, this is also the exponent. Okay. So these, by the way, are all decimal. Well, if we look back at our powers of 2 and write those in binary, what we'll notice is that we have the exact same thing. So um, in, in binary, oh, sorry, before I get to that, um, <coughs> in uh, base 10, right, if we had the number like, say, 357, right, that's actually, um, we can think of that number as, as uh, literally 3 times uh, 10 to the uh, 10 squared plus, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 5 times 10 to the 1 plus 7 times 10 to the 0. Right, that's literally what that number is. And you think, well, why is that important? The reason is because uh, any number could be represented in a, in a particular base. So a base is like um, how we can represent a number. And I mean, that's sort of the uh, I'm kind of glossing over here, but um, uh, the gist of it is we're saying, okay, well, what possible digits do we have? And in base 10, we have, you know, digits 0 through 9, whereas in base 2, we just have 0 and 1. That's our only possibilities, right? Okay, so in any event, so um, when we think about powers of 2 in binary, our only possibilities are 0 and 1. So, okay, well... Um, so, uh, in base 10, you know, we have each place corresponds to one of these powers of 10. Well, in binary, it's the same concept, only it's powers of 2. So, like, each place corresponds to a power of 2. So, let's take a look. Suppose I have, I don't know, um, 1101. This is a binary number. The reason I say that is because the only possibilities are for our digits are uh, 1s or zeros. Okay, this number here can be thought of as, actually, um, so look, so we just look at each digit separately. So this is uh, 1 times uh, 2 to the, let's see, 1, 2, oh, sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, so two, 1 times 2 to the 3rd, uh, plus 1 times 2 to the 2nd, plus uh, 1 times uh, two to the um, to the zero. Actually, and I, I skipped a step. So let me just go back really quick. I just to make sure there's no missing steps here. I'm gonna erase that really quick. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that um, every place matters. So let's just mention that. Um, so I could write this out: zero times uh, two to the one plus one times two. Oopsie. Do I have enough room here? I'm kind of running out of room. Okay, uh, just a second. Let me just kind of scroll over just a wee bit here. So that's, uh, okay, it's kind of at the edge, but okay. Um, <coughs> okay, so this is 1 times 2 to the 3rd, and, and 2 to the 3rd is 8. So this is actually 8 um, plus uh, 1 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, so 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1. Because 2 to the 0 is just 1. So this is actually, this is the number 13 in, uh, in uh, decimal. Okay, uh, but we haven't actually talked about the conversion just yet, but um, it's kind of sort of a preview. But in any event, um, <coughs> uh, so in, in decimal, we have our place values correspond to uh, powers of 10, and in binary, our place values correspond to powers of 2. Okay, so why is it interesting? Um, if we were to look at each of these place values, or each of these powers of 2 in, in binary, it would look like this. So 2 to the 0, uh, I'll just kind of, it's kind of offset a little bit, but um, actually, here's what I'll do. I'll just erase these. So instead of writing these out in, in decimal over here, I have these all in decimal. So let me just replace this. So if this were written in binary, it would look like this. Instead of these things over here, what we would end up with, I'll just kind of so go, I'll just take it all the way over here. I don't think I'll have enough room for those, but there we go. If these were written out in binary, instead of uh, these values here, it'd look like this. We would have, let's write that over here. This would be 1, 0. This would be 
1000, right? The same concept, right? But these things mean different things, right? This is, this is, um, this is written out in uh, binary now. Okay, so and this would be you know just one with five zeros at the end. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay, so right there. Now you have some more room. Uh, zero, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right there, you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get the idea. Okay, we can keep going, but all right. Um, but the basic idea is this, right? Each of these digits here corresponds to one of two possibilities. Okay, the numbers haven't changed actually. Um, these are the same numbers, only we went from. Uh, decimal over here, so this is just decimal over here, and we switch it to binary, right? So 10 in binary uh, is equal to 2 in decimal. 100 is 4 in, in decimal and so forth. So this gives you an idea about how we would do this conversion between binary and decimal, and this is why it's so important to know our powers of 2, because we want to be able to do binary to decimal conversion. Okay. One other thing we need to talk about before, before we're done uh, with this lesson. So let's go down a bit um, uh, over here. Um, so let me just scroll down a bit. So suppose I had these powers of two. So let me just quickly do those again. So 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, 64, 128, uh, 256, uh, 512, uh, 1024. I'll just do just these. Uh, and I'm going to also mention this is our, um, our um, 0, uh, 1, 2, 4. Uh, oops, sorry. Get ahead of myself. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, that should be 3. So 0, 1, 2, we're just counting over here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. So if I have two to uh, this value here, so this is our exponent over here, exponent, and over here we have our power of two. Okay, so if I have a number, right, uh, let's say it's that example earlier we had 357, right? So 357. Um, one question I'll want to ask when I do a conversion from decimal to binary thing I want to uh, uh, figure out is, okay, what is the highest power of 2 uh, that uh, can go inside this number? All right. Now, one way you could figure this out, actually, is to take the logarithm of this number, because remember, the logarithm, uh, those of you who remember, so if we have log uh, uh, base 2 of some number x, uh, that will give us uh, the exponent. So this is like, remember, the logarithm is the inverse of an exponent. So if I had like 2 to the exponent, that's going to be equal to x. So suppose I have, like, say, if I, suppose I do log base 2 of this guy here, right? Uh, well, this actually will be, it'll be roughly equal to, um, like, 8 point, uh, I don't know, 4 something or rather, um, 8 point something-ish. Um, and the reason I know that be is because uh, what's happening, if I look at this number over here, right, um, I am actually looking at uh, the highest power of 2 that goes into this. So if I say, okay, well, all right, if I were to look at these numbers over here, well, 512 is, is bigger than this number, so that doesn't work. And 128, well, that's, that goes into this, but there's a, num a number that's much more appropriate, which is 256. So this is the value, the highest power of 2 that goes into 357. Okay, So we'll want to use that in order to figure out uh, how to convert between decimal and binary, and that's, we're going to go in, over that in another uh, video. So, uh, but in any event, um, it's important to, to, uh, to realize that, you know, rather than taking a logarithm of a number, um, right, uh, 
like it, rather than entering this into a calculator, like the way you'd want to figure out the logarithm of, of say a number instead is to just say, okay, well, um, I have a power of two. I already know what that is. You might want to memorize these. In fact, I would suggest that you memorize the powers of two uh, all the way up to um, two to the sixteen. Um, and mem memorize those in decimal, by the way. So. Um, and that way you should be able to know, okay, well, if, uh, what exponent corresponds to that. So like I should know that 2 to the 7 is equal to 128, right? That should be pretty straightforward. Okay, so there you have it. Um, yeah, uh, let's see, what else is there? Uh, oh, yeah, one other thing I was going to mention. Um, so you'll notice, um, by the way, let's go back over here really quick. Um, <coughs> you notice that over here, um, we have one digit here and the exponent is zero. Likewise over here we have uh, the exponent is one, but we have two binary digits. And by the way, the shorthand for binary digit, as you might already know, is just bit. That's what it stands for. Bit just stands for binary digit. So in any event, so if I have uh, four, that takes four uh, actually takes three bits to represent. Okay. Incidentally, so if I take these exponents, it takes you know, the exponent plus one in order to represent that number. So, um, good thing to know. All right, and I think that's all I wanted to say uh, for now. So there we go. That's the powers of two. Uh, learn them, and learn them in decimal. So just, we'll just replace this really quick. So just so you have something to look at. Although I'm sure you can easily find this uh, using your favorite. Uh, um, <coughs> search engine, but uh, let's just pull that up really quick. So just replace that really quick with say the binary equivalent, something more useful, put decimal here. So you have the conversion already available uh, in front of you. So just one more time, that's going to be 2, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512 and finally 1024. Okay. So, so you should be able to knock them knock through these about that quick. Great. So there are your powers of 2 and powers of 10 for reference.